55% and 63% or 62% of those that are included in this, this mumps, this huge mumps outbreak actually did have their vaccines according to this document. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Follow up question to Senator Dom. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, and I also see here that when it's talking about the MMR vaccination history, um, one of them it says that the number of those vaccinated was 53 or 55 percent, and the other it talks about that uh, 358 or 62 percent of them had received uh, the vaccination. And am I reading that correctly? If you're reading off that piece of paper that I handed out, yes, that is correct. On this. Uh, document uh, that was handed out by the senator from Oklahoma City. Um, it has the, the number of uh, people hospitalized uh, due to mumps uh, for uh, the previous year and for this year. Um, I see seven and three. Uh, do we by any chance know the number of those people uh, that actually it was uh, ended in a fatality? I do not believe there were any fatalities. Senator Dom, you're recognized for a question. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, I thought I was finished with questions, but in some of these answers, a couple other things popped up. Um, so uh, the member said that this does not deny access to public schools. Um, so my question is, if uh, the parent does not do this, uh, their child would still be allowed to uh, attend public school? Is that, is that correct, according to the uh, senator's previous statement? The parents? would have to watch the video to send their child to school. Follow up. Thank you. And if the parent does not watch the video, uh, would their child be denied access to public school? They can still school at home if the parents don't want to watch the video. It's a three to five minute video to educate parents. Bob. Thank you. Again, so if a parent does not watch this three to five or up to ten minute video, as it actually states in the bill that we're about to pass, um, if they do not watch that video, would their child be denied access to public school? No, because they can be homeschooled or they can be virtual schooled, which is actually, I think, public school, uh, I believe. Bob. Uh, Thank you for that. For that. Yes, I, I keep emphasizing public school. Um, so this would apply to charter schools, uh, since those are public schools. Is that correct? I believe it would. Follow up. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. So a, a student that is attending a virtual charter school uh, from their home would also have to go through this process, or they would be denied access to that virtual charter school? I believe a virtual school is a public school. So they would need to watch the video if they want to opt out of vaccinations. Follow up. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, can, you, can you tell me, are there any other uh, places in, in statute that we require someone to, to watch a video and sign a document um, like this before we grant them any government services? I've been told there's a video that exists somewhere about uh, Abortion. Follow up. I, I must not be clear in, in my questions. Before I was asking about public schools, uh, let me again state it this way. Are, are there any videos um, and documents that are required to be signed before people have access to government services like this bill is dealing with, not private services, government services like this bill would deny people? 